Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to draw a hummingbird um, with some flowers. And I'm doing this project um, because I'm very excited for spring. I'm excited to see some flowers blooming. And uh, if you're lucky, you might see some hummingbirds uh, this summer. Um, so the way that we're going to start this is by drawing the beak of our hummingbird. And hummingbirds have very, very thin, thin beaks. So you want to draw um, like a really, really skinny sideways V. All right. And then that's going to kind of connect right there. Then I'm going to draw a another line coming from the bottom, but staying really close because I want this beak to look really thin. And if it's too thick, if you think it doesn't look like um, as thin as you want, then you can just erase. That's why we draw light till we got it right. So notice that I left um, a good amount of space on both sides of this beak because that's where I want to draw my bird. Um, hummingbirds are very small little birds. So I'm going to make the head come up from that beak and it's going to curve, curve, curve. Almost like um, you're drawing the top of um, a circle, but then stop it. And then I'm going to draw um, the body coming down from below the beak. And that's going to curve down and then kind of swoop under. So come down and swoop. Okay. And then um, now that you have this curve and this curve made, you can kind of connect them to make the back of your hummingbird. And like I said, they're really small little birds, so um, try and keep the body not too big. Um, they have very long beaks and very small bodies. Um, then I'm gonna make my little hummingbird eye right here, and I'm just gonna do a black circle, leaving a little bit of white. And then hummingbirds have um, some really beautiful colors and patterns on them. But what they have right here is their beak it has this black little area or darker area that connects to the eye and then goes to the back of their head. Okay. So now um, you can make sure that you're happy with the body and I'm going to make sure that I have enough room to draw my wings here. And the way that I'm going to do these wings, because hummingbirds flap their wings so fast, they um, flap them so fast that you can't even see them when they're flying. So we're going to be drawing a picture of a hummingbird kind of uh, frozen in time. So I'm going to draw one wing that goes out this way, and another wing that goes up this way, almost like you're putting like little antennas on it. And um, this part is kind of tricky. So watch carefully. I am going to curve down the wing and each of these curves, imagine that it's a feather, one single little feather. So you have to do this all the way back to the body. And then I'm going to take a line that connects from the body and goes out to each of those little points that come in. And you have to do this at an angle. So you're changing the angle as you go down the wing. So kind of pick one spot right, right below the back of the head where all the feathers are going to come out of. And then on this one, same thing. Start by making that um, little jumpy, curvy line. And then bring all those lines back in towards the head and you can darken this one to show that that's the top of one wing. Then their tail comes down, down, down and out a little bit. And I'm going to do that same thing. Curve those lines out. Maybe I'll just do three there. And um, now I have my hummingbird. Um, I'm not going to worry about drawing any of the colors yet because I want to actually make this hummingbird going up to a flower. And notice, I'm noticing that I want this belly to come out a little bit more. So I'm kind of 
changing the line so that I'm happy with it. Okay? And like I said, sometimes you can even have their beak be thinner. Say, oh, I really want this beak to be um, super duper thin. There we go. That's why um, we always draw light till we got it right. And sometimes they curve down a little bit at the end. Okay, now this is another kind of tricky part. Um, now I'm gonna make this flower that the, hunt, that the hummingbird is going after. It wants to help pollinate this flower. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually start with a curve. And this is where we're gonna make our flower. And the hummingbird is gonna to wanna to go inside of this curve here. So what I do is I actually make a line going out this way and then I'm, I'm gonna have it actually go off the page. You can do that too. And then I'll do that again right here, and here, and here. All right. Then I'm gonna kind of connect these with these squiggles. Like I said, I can go off the page. Now this is a pretty cool part, so watch. So now I take lines from ins inside this curve that I drew before, and they're gonna go out in sort of different directions. See how I did that? Okay, now I'm gonna connect those ones, again with those curvy lines, and if you did it like I did, where you're gonna actually kind of go over the beak, then you gotta jump the beak. Woo! Jump that pencil over the beak. And I'm connecting, going slowly, not rushing. And now what I did with this flower is made it look like there's um, a little spot inside of it where the, where the um, hummingbird will get its pollen or nectar. Um, so then I'm drawing these little lines that give it a little bit more, uh, makes, it, makes it look a little bit more realistic. And you can even use some shading techniques to kind of darken the area inside of the flower to show that um, maybe the light's not getting inside of there as much as it is on the edge of the petals. And this is um, a great project where you get to make up your own flower, make up your own type of hummingbird, or if you want to, based it off of the actual colors of the humming, hummingbird. I'll show you those. I'll, I uh, found some pictures online that I think will inspire you um, of hummingbirds. Okay, so I have this beautiful hummingbird I'm about to go to this flower. It's kind of all floating in space. So what, what I thought would be cool is if you fill up the space here with leaves and more flowers, or maybe another hummingbird, maybe there's a whole um, family of hummingbirds. So to do a leaf, I just curved out, curved out to connect, and then we're drawing the veins of the leaf here. I'll do another one, and um, with these drawings, I like, it's almost like we're zooming in on this um, nature scene here, so that's why I don't mind that the lines are going off the paper. And if I want to do another uh, flower in the background, I'll show you that again, except we'll go the opposite way. And I'll do it smaller because it's further away. So things that are further away look smaller. So I curved, I went out and down with those lines. Almost kind of looks like the top of a pumpkin right now. And then connecting, jumping over this little wing here Connecting, connecting. Now I'm gonna do lines going from out of the curve. Almost like they're exploding out. And then connecting those. And then if you wanna make it look a little bit more realistic, add those little lines in each of the petals Maybe a leaf here. I'm gonna use 
again, that little jumping overlapping technique where I start here and I jump over the wings, woo, over this side. That's gonna be another leaf that's going off the page. You can um, really have a lot of fun with this one. And hopefully this gets you so excited for spring. I'm very excited for spring. I've already seen a few flowers um, springing up out of the ground. All right, so um, I will show you what it looks like when I'm finished. Of course, don't forget to sign your name and it's always fun to put the year so that you can remember what year you did this. All right, hope you enjoy.